two and a half cups of flour, one cup of sugar. As usual, a new recipe every month. I don't know why I continue the cookbook. Chances are you've already forgotten about it. Probably for myself, you know, for therapeutic reasons and a sort of a means to get my mind off things. It's May 6th today. That means it would have been our two year and three month anniversary. You know how I always complain month anniversaries were for 12 year olds, but you always kind of like the idea. So happy hypothetical month anniversary. I know you'll probably roll your eyes at me for bringing that up. And I'm aware that it's been well over a year now since you left me. Well, one year and 16 days. I guess now I've finally come to terms with the fact that we'll never get back together. I think I'm even out of the phase where I just listen to depressing music, making myself more miserable because it somehow felt good. And stuffing my face with those incredible Nutella cupcakes we always used to make. But you know, I'm doing okay. Getting there. Baby steps. I even started seeing a girl. Kimmy is her name. Don't get me wrong, she's a nice girl, but... Different. It's funny. Your muscles and senses have a certain memory about it. That's why we can dress ourselves without looking or automatically recognize when something's burning. But then you spend a long enough time with someone and your bodies memorize each other. You know, the sound of your calming voice, your tickly eyelashes, the way your fingers would curl in sequence when I used to play with your palm, and your, your scent. That one aspect of a person that only the most intimate have the privilege of experiencing. But another person is like adding an entirely new ingredient to a recipe without knowing how it will affect your dish. It can be a scary, intimidating thing. And she eats lemons like they're nothing. Who does that? <sighs> you know, people are always on about, Aiden, you'll find someone else. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, you know what? I feel like a freaking fish in a pot. It used to be so much easier to be hateful than to accept the fact that we aren't together anymore. And then I started to think, what if? What if on that 15th of October, we never had that argument, and I didn't say all those things I didn't mean, and you didn't walk away without another word? Or maybe one where I chased after you and we'd still be together, and we'd do coupley things like make a dozen more oversweetened, diabetic-inducing Nutella cupcakes. I wonder if you even remember me sometimes. I, I wish you'd talk to me. Give me some vague sign that you do remember. Cause you know what, I, I'm not doing well. And look at me, I've gone this whole time without thinking of the L word once so far. But looking at it realistically, I, let's say that I still love you. And I'm kind of afraid that I won't ever really stop loving you. I hope you're doing well, Ariel. I miss you more than ever.